in many cases within our designs, we might be able to make use of a copy command to make copies of our original design. This can be used if, for example, we have some patterning in our designs. We can use the copy command to help generate those patterns. So, if I want to make a, a copy of this hand wheel as an example, I can just go into my transform tools and back into my move rotate scale tool. Again, I'll want to select, I can double tap to select my 3D body or design or any 2D sketch. And just as I could move this up or down or rotate around as we saw in the last lesson, if I just go into my options in my top left corner, I also have an option to turn on copy. So, of course, what copy can do now is make copies of my original design. So if I wanted to maybe move this up, notice it's keeping my original design and making a copy. And maybe I want to throw in a copy 10 inches above the original. Now I have two hand wheel designs here. And we can see, of course, I can continue this all within the same command. So maybe I want a third as well. And I want that maybe 20 inches above my original. And so on and so on. We can see we can create multiple copies of my design very, very quickly. And you could use this in a pattern. So, for example, I may notice in the creation of this hand wheel, I have a few unique components. I have the outer portion of my hand wheel here, which was created just with a revolve. I have the inner hub, which again was created with a, a revolve. And I also have this spoke body here, which is actually a more of a complex body. And this is a sweep, and we'll learn more about sweeps later on. But So to create my finished hand wheel, I might notice that this sweep is essentially patterned or copied four times about my central axis. So I could, of course, generate this same swept body four times, although it's fairly uh, complex shape, so it might take quite a bit of time and effort. Quite a bit easier would be to just use the copy tool to make however many copies of the spoke I would like. So again, I'll jump into my transform tools, move, rotate, scale. And I want my pivot point, again, to be dead center on my hub. So I'll move it and make sure it snaps into the dead center of my hub there. And now again, I'll want to make sure that my copy option is turned on. And I can rotate about my pivot point now. And notice I'm making a copy of my spoke here. So I can create however many copies of my spoke I would like at whatever angle I would like. In this case, maybe I want to throw in four spokes, each spaced at 90 degrees. And so I can throw in a couple of these all in actually the same command. And finally, the last spoke. And now we can see I've created four copies of the same spoke, all spaced out or revolved about the center of my hub there at a 90 degree angle. And when I'm happy with that, I can just tap the done check. So as we can see, the copy command can be a very, very useful and powerful tool in creating any sort of patterns or symmetry we may have in our designs, or just to help cut down on our design time whenever we can see a good use for making patterns or copies of existing designs. In the next few lessons, we're going to take a further look into some additional transformation and translation tools.